Welcome to Toddler Tuesdays, and thanks for joining me. I'm Ms. Artiaga, and I'll be joined by Ms. Amanda and Ms. Gina today. Ms. Amanda has a song for us, and then Ms. Gina has a story from the Bible about Jesus. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together for Toddler Tuesdays. May we learn more about your love each week and come to know you. Amen. Hi, everybody. Let's sing our favorite song as we go into our story, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. This is the story of Jesus feeding the crowd from the book of Matthew. Many people heard about Jesus. They heard he was a good teacher and helped people to learn more about God. They heard he could make sick people well. Sometimes big crowds of people would gather to hear Jesus speak. One time, Jesus and his apostles wanted to spend time together away from the big crowds of people. Where could they go to be alone? They decided to get into a boat and sail to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. They could rest and talk together in the quiet of the grassy green hills away from the cities and people. So they sailed across. The Sea of Galilee is not very big. It's not actually a sea, but more like a lake. The people could see Jesus and his, and his apostles landing the boat on the distant shore. The people wanted to be with Jesus so much that they decided to follow him. They walked around the lake to the other shore. Soon there was a huge crowd of people gathered again to hear Jesus preach. There were 5,000 plus men and women and children. Jesus knew that the people must really be serious as they walked all the way around the lake. He did not rest but spent all day teaching the people about God. When evening came, the apostles began to wonder how all of these people are going to eat. They were far away from any town. Maybe Jesus should stop preaching so the people could walk to town and get some food. Jesus knew the apostles were worried. He asked one of the apostles, Philip, where are we going to buy bread for all these people? Philip was from a town near there and he knew that it would cost a lot to buy food for over 5,000 people. Philip answered Jesus, I would have to work for eight months to earn enough money to feed this crowd. Andrew was another apostle. He had been asking people in the crowd if they had any food. He found one boy who had brought his lunch. The boy didn't have much food. He only had two small fish and five small loaves of bread. Andrew did not know how this small amount of food would feed over 5,000 people, but he took the food to Jesus anyway. He knew that Jesus could do anything. Jesus said, divide all the people into groups of 50 and tell them to sit down on the grass. Soon the crown was divided into small groups. Then Jesus did a wonderful thing. He prayed to God to thank God for the food and then he began handing the bread and fish to people. Jesus began with only two fish and five loaves of bread, but every time he handed it to someone, more bread and fish seemed to appear. Jesus gave bread and fish to everyone in the crowd. Everyone ate bread and fish until they were full. Finally, when everyone was finished, they cleaned up all of the small pieces of bread left over. The leftover bread was enough to fill 12 baskets. Jesus fed all these people from little, two little fish and five small loaves of bread. No human 
could do a miracle like that. Only Jesus could. Jesus was powerful enough to take care of a whole crowd of people. Jesus is powerful enough to take care of you and me. Thank you, Miss Gina. We are in the time of Lent. It is a time before Easter. Each week, we are learning new stories about Jesus. Today's story of Jesus feeding the crowd who came to hear him speak is one of my favorites. Let's say a closing prayer, and then Miss Amanda has a closing song for us. Dear God, thank you for this time together. Thank you for stories, songs that bring us closer to you. Please continue to show us how to be good disciples of Jesus, pleasing you. Let us be reminded of how you always provide for us. Please go with us this week and keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. As we remember all the things that we have in our life, our full abundance and what we can be grateful for, we can use the words please and thank you to show others that we care as we go along. Let's sing that one again. Please and thank you, please and thank you, show you care, show you care. Please and thank you, sends out kindness everywhere, everywhere. When you ask a question, please add so much love. Saying thank you sends a heartfelt message like a hug. Please and thank you, please and thank you, show you care. Words are gifts that we can share. Goodbye, see you next week.